Welcome back to First and Ten. Last week, the Nixa Eagles went to Webb City, beat the Cardinals by 34 points. Nixa ranked fifth in the state rankings tonight, squaring off with unbeaten Joplin. First and Ten's Jared Henry standing by live with the details from Eagle Stadium. Jared? Yeah, Dan, this was a pretty gay pretty great game, but it was another wet one, not as bad as a couple weeks ago whenever I was in Branson, but still, it was a wet battle between the Eagles here and Nixa, and I say that because both Joplin and Nixa bear the name of the Eagle. Nixa dominating the game, though, from the start, making some very big and impressive plays. I'm talking long touchdown runs and some even longer touchdown passes. The energy in the stadium was immaculate before the team even hit the, hit the field, but after they made the plays that I just told you about, it went into an absolute frenzy here. There was everybody in the stands was on their feet, I, and, and those st the stadium was absolutely packed. I had to park in a field like a quarter mile from here because I couldn't get a parking space. And the production value here was also added to that incredible frenzy of cheering. There is a jumbotron here that plays replays, instant replays. I went to a small high school; we didn't have anything like that, so that's pretty cool. We also didn't have uh, fireworks shooting off after touchdowns, and. Fireworks playing after we, Nixa got the W, beating uh, Joplin 49 to zero. Looking ahead to next week, Joplin will be facing off against Glendale at home. And for Nixa, they will be heading to Carthage with hopes of going 4-0 remaining undefeated. Reporting live in Nixa, I'm Jared Henry, Color 10 News. Uh, Jared, yeah, it's going to be a tough game with Carthage in Ozark tonight. Tiger fight between Ozark and Republic. Both of these Central Ozark Conference teams going at it. They're both 1-1 one one on the year. Ozark coming in off a loss to Carthage. Republic rolling into Tiger Stadium following a win over Waynesville. And the Repmo defense was fired up early in this one. Cameron Allen with the tackle for loss right there. Ozark would have to punt. Republic would have the ball. And then fourth and five from the 21. Preston McCracken hits Owen Clyer. He sheds a tackler at the five and takes it in. Seven nothing, Republic Tigers. More first quarter scoring for Retmo. Inside handoff to Trayton Gray. He scores from 16 yards out to make it 14 nothing, Republic. Ozark would get something going later in that first quarter. Caden O'Donnell, the quarterback, would hit Tegan Scott with this pass over the middle. And then it looks like Scott may be able to get away. However, uh, Republic's Jackson Taylor had the touchdown saving tackle. Ozark now fourth down. The pass into the flat is complete, but Republic's Ryder Davis is there for the tackle short of the chains. So Republic gets the ball on downs and McCracken would cash that in early in the second quarter. Keeps over the left side. Three yard touchdown to make it 21 nothing Republic and Retmo goes to two and one on the season with a 35 to nothing victory.